Welcome back. So I want to do a few more test helpers right here and then you guys can dive into more yourselves. It's really up to you how much you want to kind of dive in and make these changes in your code. There's one right here, for instance. Um, I'm kind of annoyed that I have to slice my uh, items right here to kind of get this button. I, I want to make a test where I can pass in not only the tag name, but also the specific name for the the button content or the tag that I'm looking for is text content. So in this case, I want to find all the buttons that has to lead as the content in the text. So we're going to make a method for that. And let's just copy all of this. And let's just try and go down and create a new method down here. And I'm going to make just a new one. I'm going to call it just count text. And it's again, it's the naming, it's really up to you. If you can find some better names, go for it. Uh, it's going to pass in the text uh, tag name first, like we did before and that's going to be a string. And then the second thing I wanna pass in is the text that I'm looking for inside the content, right? So, so that's kind of the goal right here. And then what I wanna pass, what I wanna return is just going to be a number, because in this case, I'm just going to count how many has the specific text inside the specific tag, right? So let's try and do it like this. And, and let's just paste in the stuff we had. Again, I'll start up by getting the fixture right here. I'm going to use the tag name down here to get all of those items. And now we have a list of elements, so let's just call it elements right here. Now we, we have a list of elements now, we wanna kind of dive into each of them. Let's just get rid of this for now, because I kinda wanna say for each element right here, I wanna figure out how many of them actually contains the specific text that I'm looking for. So we can actually do that in a pretty simple way right here. What we can do is we can try and use what we call a filter. So you can try and filter these elements right here. Now a filter will return a callback, so in our case, what we kind of want to do right here is for each of the elements, this is called the element, I want to kind of figure out if that element um, text content right here, so that pretty much means I need the native element and the text content, if that right here equals, and then what should it equal? Well, it should equal the text. Then I've found a match, right? So this line right here should actually end up with a new list, and that new list, I can actually use that, let's just make that a const, I can use this new list to just get a count. So I can just say length right here, length, and I can just return that. So that's how simple it actually is for me to kind of figure out how many um, elements are inside with the button tag, for instance, has the text of delete, right? So let's try and see if it works. Again, I'm going to grab the count text right here. I'm going to move back to the code. I'm going to find the one where we kind of counted how many, how many we had right here, and notice again, I slice one because we have the add button in there as well. But now let's get rid of that because that's kind of annoying. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to use our new helper right here and say count text. And what we want to count is for all the button elements. So we're going to say, let's get rid of length right here as well. There we go. So we're going to say we want to count all the buttons. And we want to say for each of the buttons, let's find delete. That's the text we're looking for. And now that should be 100 if it worked what we just did right here. Let's try and see if we get a green test. There we go. So it seems to be working. Um, so now that means now we have a small count text where we can pass in the tag we want to kind of find and then the text we want to look for in the tag and then we get back 100. So again, it's it's up to you. You can keep doing this forever and ever and just make it easier and easier for you to kind of make your code readable, make it easier to test it. So here's another one. Let's just try and see if we can fix this one as well. Uh, I know there are five elements. Let's try and get rid of this for now. And let's see. So we want to kind of for each of these guys, we want to go and figure out if that product actually has the right name. So why not just instead of this, say that, let's just get rid of this noise, get rid of this noise. Why not just say, I expect for each of these guys that I can use my helper right here to count text. And what I want to pass in is actually this text right here. Okay, so I want to count this guy. And I expect that each of these guys, and we need to put in the tag name, of course, first, so this is going to be a span, whoops, span right here. I'll do a comma and we'll add the product name plus the equal signs as the actual search field right here. So now we should get back one guy right here for each of these guys. I hope that makes sense. So let's just have a look again. So we are saying we need to count how many spans has the specific product name with the minus inside and that should be one for each of the different products we have available. So something like this should actually make the test run. And there we go. Again, we just uh, limited our code a lot. 
And uh, let's just wrap this up. Now you guys, as I said, could keep just changing this. Next lesson, we'll try and move the DOM helper to something we can use again and again. But let me try and show you one thing right here before we end it. And that's actually going in here and using uh, the previous version on Git and just check out the code right here. First of all, um, we had 172 lines before. Now we have like 135. So we just cut off 37 lines. That might not sound like a lot. But if you look at the code right here, you'll see there's a lot of code that's gone. It's so much easier to read this. Not only is it easier to read, but it's a lot easier for us to reuse all of this code. There's actually one here with the navigation we could cut down even further, but I'll let you guys do that yourselves. Look at how simple this code is now compared to how it was. <laughs> oh my god, that's so powerful. So I really encourage you to use these small helpers and there are tools that can help you. You can find uh, different ways to kind of fix this, yeah, but, but I'm just I want to just build these helpers myself to show you guys how easy it actually is to work with these small helpers in your tests. See you next time. We'll have even more fun.